Hello, Internet World! I'm finally back! Digimon is back! Or Digimon is back! With a brand new LP! And this time we're going back to 2000... To, well, not exactly, but you know what I mean! Welcome to Ratchet and Clank, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let me see... It's not this... Okay. Just checking. New game, let's do it! This is actually my practice file, which I already did that, so... Let's make a new file. Um, this game came out in the year 2002 for the PlayStation 2. Kaizil Plateau, Planet Velden, 11.13 a.m. local time. And yes, when it's these kinds of cutscenes, they are 4 by 3 I don't know why they did that in the HD version. They could have made it 16 by 9 but... Hmm, I guess they didn't bother. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help. Uh, do I have to? <laughs> uh. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet. Ooh, robots! Anyways, as I was, as I was saying, Ratchet Clank came out in 2002 for the PlayStation 2. The HD remix came out in when the, well in the 10th anniversary of the Ratchet Clank series. By that I mean 2012, which pretty much means two years ago. Uh. Uh, when I was introduced in, I was introduced for the, I was introduced to the Ratchet and Clank series in 2005, I think, with Ratchet and Clank 3 up your arsenal, not with the first game. I think I got the others, I think, later, way later, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's besides the point. Anyways, we're gonna start off. I will probably do all the Ratchet and Clank's the games and LP them. Well, except the PSP titles, because. Just those can go to hell. I kind of hate them because you know they're not that great. Approaching Plyvelin, 11:47 a.m. local time. And Star Wars reference? What the hell? It does look like a Star Wars reference. <laughs> oh no! What 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 episode is this? Is this episode X? By that I don't mean 10. I mean X, the episode that was never made. And now this is the regular cutscene. Oh, what happened? Ooh, something fell. I gotta investigate it right away. By the way, I'm gonna do uh, like one episode of the day. I'm not gonna do like what I used to do. Anyways, you can control now as Ratchet. Welcome to the Gadgetron help desk. Yeah, I know, I know. Shut up. I'm gonna get the help desk. The help desk. Uh, you can actually. Uh, I'm gonna take out the voice. I'll just put the text on. You can always do that. Uh, where's the subtitles? There we go. Turn on the subtitles because hell, we need those subtitles. Anyways, now for some reason, there's a difference between the HD version and the original. You get more bolts in this game for some reason. Ah, hold on. How do you? It's select. Oh, oh, there you go. Who's this handsome fella that is pointing the finger up upwards? We'll find out later. But for now, as you can tell, we got a map and all that jazz if you are lost. <laughs> who, would who would lose themselves? Who would get lost in this game? Seriously. But, uh, anyway. Bolts are pretty much the currency in, in this game. You just get bolts so you can buy stuff like weapons or ammo. We have only one weapon so far, and that's the bomb glove. You, 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 just, you just use a circle button to throw a bomb like this. Just point to the enemy, and there you go. Well, I missed, but that's pretty much how it works. I'm just gonna use the wrench. I guess these guys, these guys are very weak. They look like frogs. I don't know what's the official name, but uh, yeah, they look like frogs to me. But anyway, these guys are gonna be taken down with just a wrench. Like so. Just slap them with the wrench, and there you go. Now, there's no skill points. In this place, there's skill points and goal balls to collect. Goal balls, we'll find that out later. Probably in the next, probably in the next area, because in this area it's the tutorial level. So nothing. Oh, I forgot I don't have yet. Anyways, yes, I know. I can interrupt. I know that. To help that, this is why I put in titles, uh, subtitles actually, and no voice because the voice would interrupt me a lot. And I prefer text. Uh, let's go up here. The, my favorite uh, Ratchet & Clank of the whole first trilogy... This, com this is the comic strike, as the game is telling me. It's 
you can go L1 to go like first mode and you can throw it as well. I mean, it's not just R1, you can press L1, go first person mode and then you can use the wrench and throw it. This is nano attack, which pretty much helps you uh, uh, re recover some of your health. Uh, which is, I think it's nano attack. Bleh. Pretty much. But this is actually my least favorite of the first trilogy. Well, then again, it's the first game. You can't let Insomniac do everything. Which, by the way, they were the guys who made this this franchise. They, the first franchise they they made them fam that made them famous was pretty much um, Spiral the Dragon. Well, the first three games anyway. But then they decided to make a new mascot. In this case, Ratchet and Clank. This and that's and, and it's still their mascot. I mean, there's also resistance, but uh, Ratchet and Clank beats them. Alright, now this robot, watch out for what he does. He has a shock weapon and he can attack you. Th these G-boxes are the Gadgetron ammo. Damn it, you failed to kill the toad, damn it. Just about I'm gonna kill you. And that's what I did. F you, man. F you. Oh, oh I almost got him. Wow, well, I almost got the third guy. Well, now I did. Yay. Mad skills, man. Mad skills. Mad skills. That's all I have to say. Uh, also, um, I know one of the guys who developed the game. He would develop actually Ratchet Clank games until Gladiator. Well, Gladiator, Gladiator deadlocked. For America, I gotta say, I have, America, I have an American Rose as well, so I better say deadlocked as well. I will go into that later, but I don't know which version I'll play. Because the HD version is very buggy. So I don't know which version I'll play. I'll think about it. And enough your arsenal. I'll probably play the PS2 version because god damn that game is so buggy. Especially some parts of the game. The cutscenes are good, but ugh. Well, well you guys will see it later. Anyways. It only took seven minutes to get here. That's great. Now that I have subtitles on, I guess I could talk over the, this cutscene. Well, except the ones that you can't really put subtitles on. The ones that are 4 by 3 anyway. So. Huh? What? Oh. Can I get those three bolts, please? What are you doing? Interesting. <laughs> You're quite handy with your wrench. I'm a mechanic, dude. You bet. I built that ship with it. Yes, I know that. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. The solar system? Do you know where I might find that fellow? Uh. Radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Uh, look at this footage. Hello, citizens of. Novelis. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was funny. planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Yes. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info box... Uh, wait, can you do that? Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. Scanning. Let me scan. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition system. Top of the line, sir! Top, Top of the line! I can start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is. And wherever it is. Started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Ugh. Deal. Let's get out of here. Chairman Drag's flagship, Elden Orbit.
This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Back on Chairman Drake's flagship. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No. He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Entering atmosphere, Plan Ovalis. Oh, Jesus. Ouch. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Nope. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. Hmm. Yes. Yes, true that. Anyways, we're gonna end this episode right here. So next time on Ratchet and Clank, we are going to explore the first planet on the game. Well, official one anyway, because that was tutorial. Novelis! So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.